This is Mahmoud Hassan Meras. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDOS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the top view, this is the front view and this is the right side view. First, I will start drawing from the front view. In the front view, this horizontal line is 200 unit. Then I will draw this inclined line. The inclined line has a horizontal dimension of 30 unit and a vertical dimension of 100 unit. Then I will draw the right uh, incline line this incline has a horizontal dimension of 80 unit and a vertical dimension of 100 unit then if i joined this two point then i will get this 90 unit dimension after that i can see there is a 20 unit of offset then i will draw this 20 unit offset shape after that then i will extrude boss it to 200 unit as here we can see we have a circle in the middle so i will extrude boss it to in direction one 100 unit and in direction to 100 unit then i will get a total dimension of 200 unit okay let's start drawing first select the front plane front plane then sketch now select line point the line to the origin and dimension it to 200 unit After that, point the uh, point the line into the origin and draw a incline line. Now select its my dimension and dimension it vertically 100 unit, and again select that line and dimension it to horizontally 30 unit. Now select line tools again. Now draw another incline line. Now select its my dimension. Now dimension it to vertically. 100 unit and now dimension to horizontally 80 unit now select line to second now join this two point here you can see i have made the shape after that i will draw this inner offset profile this offset profile has a 20 unit of offset so i will select the offset entities now select this entire sketch now offset it to 20 unit okay now i will isometric it now go to features and extrude boss as the total extrude boss is 200 unit i will extrude boss in direction 1 100 unit and in direction 2 100 unit now press ok now we can see in the top in the bottom plane i have a extrude cut of this rectangular shape and this rectangular shape is 100, 160 by uh, 200 minus 80 and minus 40 this dimension is 40 if you can if you want to get a clear view here you can see this radius has a 45 dimension but but our this vertical line is literally smaller than this radius shape so it will be 40 unit so if we want to draw this rectangle is to cut i have to draw it 160 by 200 minus 80 minus 40 okay now i select the top plane now select the sketch now normal to it and this distance here is 20 unit and this distance here 20 unit so i will uh, place a point here and this is to 20 unit now select smart dimension now select this point and this horizontal line and dimension it to 20 unit now press ok after that select the center uh, select the corner rectangle selecting the corner rectangle place the corner rectangle and dimension it to 160 unit vertically and horizontally 200 minus 80 minus 40 unit now press ok now isometric it now go to features and extrude cut and extrude, extrude cut it now press ok after that here we can see 
we have another extrude cut here in the upper surface the upper surface ha has a rectangular extrude cut of 160 by 40 so i will select the this upper surface now select sketch now normal to it now select the corner rectangle and place the corner rectangle point here and dimension it to 160 by 40 unit now isometric it go to features and then extrude cut i'll i will extrude cut it to the way there so that i will get the necessary extrude cut now press ok now if you want to see a better look isometric it in here now we have a circular shape and this circular shape has a 45 unit radius so from the top pen i will draw a 45 unit radius circular shape now select this top surface now sketch now normal to it now select a circle and place the circle to the middle and draw a circle of 45 unit radius now press ok now isometric it now go to features and extrude boss here we can see this shape this uh, shape here the vertical distance is 20 unit so i will extrude boss it to 20 unit now uh, reverse the direction now press ok after that uh, we have a inner circle of extrude cut this inner circle of extrude cut has a 50 unit diameter so i will select this face now sketch now normal to it now select a circle and place the circle to the center point of the previous circle now draw a uh, circle of 50 radius now isometric it go to features and extrude cut this circle has a extrude cut, cut of through all in both sides so i will extrude cut it to through all in both sides now press ok after that here we can see we have uh, a fillet of 10 radius in the lower corner and fillet of 10 radius in the upper corner so i will select the fillet option and dimension it to 10 unit now select this lower corner and this upper corner and in the other side also select this lower corner and this upper corner now press ok now for a better view isometric it as we can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different.